So I'm wanting to speak about questioning your kids instead of jumping in and answering things for them all the time and how this helps in building a child's self-esteem. So what I'm meaning here is that when they ask you for help or ask you a question, instead of giving an immediate answer, take a moment and try and ask them something back. In that way, they actually have to reason and, and, and think a little bit harder, which builds their sense of independence, it builds their self-esteem, and it actually makes them feel more important. So you're likely to get a much better response. So when a child is feeling like they can't do something, if we jump in and answer, what it's actually doing is confirming for them that they can't do it. So I get lots and lots of um, in examples in my practice of children who feel that they can't do some things, even if it's opening a paint jar. And if they ask me to do it, or how do you, even in words, how do you open this? And I just go ahead and do it or tell them, I'm losing the opportunity for them to actually build themselves up. So I might say, oh, that's a great question. How do you think? Take a look at it, lift it up. Where could you put your thumb? Now that's obviously, the extreme version of not answering, but only keeping on, on asking questions. And this works extremely well at home with all ages and even teenagers who want to go out, want to do things, want to know how they look with what they're wearing. If you give them an immediate answer, it's not really giving them cause to reflect. It's not really building them up necessarily especially in today's age where other people's opinions are so important. So a beautiful line to use is, what do you think? Or, that's a good question, how would you approach it? Yeah, but mom, just tell me. Then you can even say, you wish I could tell you what to do. It would make it easier, wouldn't it? So even if they ask another question or two after the initial one, give it a go and see how asking and becoming curious from your side makes such a big difference it even works in discipline so i hope this tip is a good one for the week let us know how it goes and do remember to like our facebook page and join our raising kids positively facebook group facebook group and of course if you subscribe right here you can get notifications every week on our youtube channel have a great week